Hello everyone, it's Ngawang here. So today we are going to learn about the basic of phonemes, right? And before we learn ki phonemes kya hota hai, phonemes kaise use hota hai language mein, we need to know the components of the English language, right? And there are five to six components in the English language and those are the phonetics, phonology, morphology, syntax, semantic and pragmatic. Now we will learn ki phonology kya hota hai, phonetics kya hota hai and those other components ka meaning kya hota hai, okay? Phonetics kya hota hai? Phonetics is the speech sound of a particular language. The phonetics particular letters ke sound system ko bolte hain phonetics, right? If, let's take an example of a book, right? Book mein kitna sound hota hai? Ba, o, ka, right? Ba, o, ka. These three are the phonetics. So here phonetics become the base of every language. Okay, then comes the morphology. A sound system ko padne ke baad tab chai ke we make a word, right? Now, those words are called morphology. Now, see, morphology kya hota hai? Morphology ek word hota hai. Let's take an example of book again, right? What is book? Book is a word. B-O-O-K, right? Book. Book is made up of four letters. B-O-O-K with the three sounds. Ba-O-K, right? And those sounds are called phonetics. And those, the letter itself, the book itself, the word itself is called morphology, right? Then syntax. Syntax hota hai ek phrase, ek sentence ke structure hota hai na? Exam, malab, taking, let's take an example of book again. Book ko use kari, ek sentence banana, ek sensible way me, sentence ka structure ko banana is called syntax, right? Then comes the semantic and pragmatic. Semantic kya hota hai? Meaning of a word. Book, meaning of a word hota hai. Pragmatic kya hota hai? Meaning of a word in a given situation. Okay? Let's take an example of phone, right? Phone kya hota hai? Ek gadget hota hai. Jise hum communicate karte hai kisi or, kisi or insans, right? Kisi or human beings hum communicate karte hai with the help of this gadget called phone. Ye kya hota hai? Phone ki semantic meaning hota hai. Pragmatic meaning kya hota hai? If I were to say he is on the phone, it ka matlab hota hai us given situation mein wo kisi or se baat kar raha hai. Us given sentence mein kya hota hai? Given situation ki according he is on the phone matlab us mein phone kis ko refer kya jata hai? Wo kisi or ke saath call pe honne ko refer kya jata hai na? So here we see that given situation mein a word ko given situation ki according to use karna and meaning banana is called pragmatic, right? So see, phonology kya hota hai? Phonology is the branch where we study the phonemes, speech, speech sound, right? A word or a letter ki kaise speech sound nikala jata hai? Uh, laptop a gadget hona and if we were to define laptop as in gadget, it would be the semantic meaning of letter, right? Laptop hoti. Or laptop, ek hota, laptop is particular a word, right? Laptop, which is made up of six letter, L-A-P-T-O-P, -P, right? And if we were to study the phonemes, the speech sound of a laptop, we see that there are six sounds where P is repeated, right? La, E, Pa, Lap, Ta, O, Pa, right? See, there are six sounds where Pa is repeated two times. So we will take the five sounds. Here, laptop is made up of five sounds, right? Five sounds, six letters. So here we study, if we study the particular sound of the laptop, right? Particular sound of a laptop, particular sound of a L, particular sound of a A, particular sound of a P, particular sound of a T, O, P. Those are called phonemes, right? And then come the phonology. Now what is phonology? Phonology is a branch. We study the pattern of the sound system, okay? Then comes the phonetics of English, right? As we know that to learn a basic of a language, we need to learn the consonant and the vowels, right? Uh, we study consonant, hum consonant parte, hum vowels parte, if we need to learn a language, right? And here till now, we have learned ki humne aaj tak yehi parai ki consonant, 26 consonant hota hai, on the other hand, vowel paanch hi hota hai karke na. But if we were to study the phonetics of English, we will have to study that consonant is of 24 sound. Consonant 24 sounds produce karte hai, at the same time, vowels 20 different sound mein produce karte hai, okay? So, vowels is made up of five letters, which, which is A, E, I, O, U. Vowels give five letters for the A, E, I, O, U. At the same time, vowels give sounds, 20 sounds for the ticket. On the sounds of vowels can be divided into the four types. Vowels give char types in Bhante Chate. First, hota, monotone, then come the diphthong, then come the longer vowel, then come the shorter vowel, right? Monotone, diphthong, longer vowel, shorter vowel, kya hota hai? Agar usko hum details bhi para jai, to monotone hota hai, mono se pata chalta hai, mono means one, which means sound, mono sound, one sound, okay? Diphthong means, diff means two, which means two sound. Longer sounds means, longer vowels means mm, those vowels which is produced for a longer duration. And shorter sound, shorter vowels means 
uh, those whole which is produced at the shorter duration, right? If let's take an example of pot, pot, pot. We try to speak this word pot. We see that that pot is produced for a shorter duration, right? Pot, 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 pot. See, right? We only take little time to produce this sound, right? On the other hand, if we were to take the example of peel, right? Peel, chilka ko nikalna, peel, p e e l, peel. We 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 don't say peel, right? Peel it off. We would say peel it off, peel it off. Here we take a longer duration in producing this word peel, right? So this would be the longer vowel. Now we will learn the monotone as well as diphthong. So here, monotone is those sound which is produced with only one vowel. On the other hand, diphthong is the those sound which is produced with the two sound, right? Let's take an example of pot again. Here we produce this pot where O is produced only for a shorter duration as well as only with the one sound. O, O, pot, right? Pot. Just see, pot ko ek bar bol ke dekho. Uh, see. And on the other hand, diphthong example me, our boy ko leya jai, to we see that there, we do not produce only O sound in a boy. We also produce I sound in the end, right? Boy, boy. We see oi, oi, O, I sound in the end. So here, diphthong me, meaning eight sound ho diphthong di under ata. Okay, that's it for today. And the next lesson would be on the consonant, consonant video phonemes, uh, consonant phonetics, and the sound of phonetics. That's it.